Hi guys, Ray2179 here, and today I'm going to be doing a redstone tutorial on the 4x4 piston door. <laughs> that rhymes, sorry, just had to point that out. Um, So, on my 3x3 piston door tutorial, there should be an annotation link on the screen to go to that now. I told you guys that I'd be working on a 4x4 door for you guys, and well, here it is. So, this is the door, right here. Um... It's it, it's as compact as I can make it. Um, I'm not sure that it could go any smaller. But this is how I did it. And I think it's pretty compact. So the um, opening time is 2.2 seconds. Approximately, of course. Not exactly. And the closing time is 1.4 seconds. There we go. That's the door. It's very, um, I guess, simple for me to build anyway, because I memorized the circuit, so I won't have to look back at this every now and then. But yeah, so let's get into this, building this door. Um, you're going to need to have the obvious four items, redstone torches, redstone, redstone repeaters, sticky pistons, any building block, I'm using sandstone once again. Uh, you can have any block that you can put redstone on. It can even be your building block. I don't care. As long as you can put redstone on it, it'll be good. But I'll be using different colors of wool. And remember that red is always our input block. With the block that receives power. So it doesn't matter where you have your button. As long as power goes into the input block, the door will work. Uh, we're also going to need a button, obviously, to open the door. Some sand. An immovable block. It does not have to be obsidian. It can be obsidian, a chest, a furnace, a dispenser, a hopper, a dropper. Um, Yeah, any immovable item. Any item that a piston cannot move is okay. I choose to use obsidian because I think it looks clean. I don't want my door in there with um with a chest or a furnace in there. Um, but obsidian is what I'll be using, and you'll need a slab of any kind. Alright, let's get to building this. And by the way, this works in any orientation. And like in my 3x3, I told you how to orient it by placing down the block and putting the torch on the left side. Um, this way, uh, the way that I'm going to do my piston door, it's really... Uh, quite obvious from the first step how to orient the door. It works in both orientations, so don't worry. So first what we're going to start off by doing is build... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot to tell you guys one more thing. The door itself is 4x4, four four, and the wiring is 5x11. Five, 5 wide and 11 tall. So just, just yeah, keep that in mind. Now, to start off, we're going to build two blocks up off the ground, and then a piston like so. Now this is where we determine our orientation. If you want it to go this way and walk through it that way, you build out three more like this. That's the floor. You're going to be walking through this way. But if you want to walk through it this way, you build your pistons here. Like this. I'm going to build it in this orientation just because that one's built the same way. So yeah, let's get to building in the pistons as step one. Now we are going to need our immovable block sorry I can think of it <laughs> I'm gonna put that on the sides of our piston row here and put sticky pistons facing up on top of those then we're gonna get to our uh, pistons that are higher than the normal row and we're gonna build up out to up out to and we're gonna place our double extender pistons on here so one two one two just like that facing inward two one two as you can see i'm mirroring it and that's how the entire thing goes you have to mirror everything basically now what we're going to do is we're going to go on here and we're going to go like build a backwards l then oh we're not piston it not blue hole. no no i'm all over the place here immovable block on top of our backwards l break the backwards l and sticky piston facing downwards then on the side a row of four downward facing sticky pistons then a movable block, then piston. So you get this shape, and it's quite obvious now to tell which way you're going to be going through the door. So there's that. Now let's get into step two, the wiring. Uh, 
Um, so we're gonna start down here by the bottom pistons with our green wool. Gonna build up to this height and build all the way across until your blocks reach one block past the immovable block on both sides. Now this is where we will need our sand. Put the sand like right next to the immovable block, right adjacent to it. And let's get into building some redstone here. So first redstone is laid right here in the middle and repeaters on the outside facing outwards from the sand. Now input block goes right there. Torch on the side powering this redstone should go through the sand and power the repeater. Now let's go into the back and find this torch and then out from it we're going to build like three and then here we're going to skip one and build two. In that spot that we skipped we're going to place down a repeater facing that way on three ticks and redstone all across this. If you're wondering why it's powered, it's being powered by the redstone that's up here. Turns out pistons do not block power sources. That's I, I find that funny. Weird. Anyway, from here we are going to need to build pistons facing oops. Always do that. Pistons facing outward like this. It should become active due to the redstone here. We need to give them a block to hold. These are sticky pistons, remember? Then break the block that's underneath them and put a torch on the side of that block right there. Now we're going to flip back to the front and find that sand. And directly under it, one block on the ground, build a piston facing up. Sticky piston. Like that. Now we're going to go back here. And I'm just going to lay the path for the redstone. I just don't like building redstone directly on the ground. I don't know why. It just doesn't seem orderly to me. So... From this torch here, right next to it, two redstone out like that, and one on the end. Mirror it. Then in between, we're going to have repeater here, two ticks. Repeater there, three ticks. Mirror that. Two ticks, three ticks. And then this redstone is going to be going into our blue blocks now. Torch. Block. Torch. Go out like this. Yep, out to right there. Redstone here and here, and torch on the side, which will power that piston. Now we need to mirror it. Block, torch, block, torch, block, 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 break, block, torch, redstone, redstone. Okay, so we have that. And back to the front. We're going to find these pistons coming out of the sand. I mean pistons, what am I saying? Repeaters coming out of the sand. Build one block in front of them. Build one block on top of them, but... Shift place, bam, shift place on the edge, there we go, and they almost look like they're surrounding the whole repeater, on top, torch, on side, redstone, torch should be off now, uh, now, we take this out, and they're back around, so, like this, redstone, 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 and repeater going inward on two ticks. Mirror that. Two ticks. Alright, now we need to go to the back again and pull out our slabs. And we're going to want to place them on the bottom half of this piston, then come out one, and then the bottom half of that. And we can break these two. So, like that. Then going up to here. Place one there. And then one there. So, like, I'm not sure what to call this. Just put redstone on those. It should link up. Evidently, you can get a redstone current up that. I think it's the most compact way of getting pulses straight up without using torches. I mean, redstone torches. All right, now that we have our little stairs, we're gonna do we're gonna add a block next to each of them for the bottom one to the side, the top one to the side, and the middle one in front. So mirror that over. All right, now we're gonna put something on each of these blocks. For the bottom one, we're gonna do Peter on three tick. Then that's going into a block with redstone on top. 
not lying. There we go. And in here we have Peter on three tick going into yet another block with redstone on it. So kind of like curves around there. On the middle block, we just need a repeater facing inward on one tick. And on the top, just redstone. So we're going to mirror that. And I need to make it day. Okay. Bottom. Repeater three ticks. Into a block. Oops. Redstone. Repeater on three ticks. Block. Not touch. Redstone. Okay. Now here we need repeater. And up here we need redstone. So we should have that. Now going back down in here, where where, where this is, in here, we're going to find that immovable block, that obsidian or chest, whatever, or furnace, or whatever you put in there, and blue wool against it. Repeater on two ticks. That piston should now deactivate. Mirror it over. There we go. Oh, wait. Can't forget the tick. Otherwise, our door will be all contorted. Um, now, we're going to fly in here, right in this spot. Torch goes there. And we're going to build, using our pink wool now, a kind of like a L shape. And a lot of, I've been using L shapes a lot. <laughs> Out of that torch coming redstone. And then repeater. Now, against the immovable blocks, we want that. Oh, wait, we should probably mirror that over to this side as well redstone two ticks and the middle two also have blocks on them pink blocks then we have stone slab here and here remember make sure it's on like the top half of the block and just put redstone on those there we go now back up to our little staircase thing here. Uh, you see this redstone connecting here? We don't want that. So cut it off with blue wool. Now we're going to go to the top of this piston here. Put that there. Redstone, redstone. Slab, redstone, redstone. And it's connecting again, so we cut it off again. Because we don't want that connecting. Then, once we cut that off, we build from that piston out. We can break that. Repeater, not torch, redstone. There we go. Copy that over to this side. Oops. Redstone. Now, going from the front side, we need to find this immovable block. And on the side, blue wool. Behind it, blue wool. Behind that, two slabs. On those slabs, not torches, redstone. I don't know why I keep doing that. Two redstone on those slabs, and redstone at the end. In between, Peter on two ticks. Copy that over. There we go. Now, going back to the back side. We're going to go from this block here. Take wool out. Not torch, redstone. Goodness, keep doing that. Now we're going to slab down here. Not to oh my goodness. Why do I keep doing that? It's a torch curse. Anyway, down here in, in this little pocket, we need a piston facing towards us with pink wool in its grasp. Yo. Alright, now at this point, we want to take our building block and give him to the pistons for use, like so. All right, now, in front of this redstone, th th during the uh, door when it actually closes, this piston will push the pink wool out, and we need that power to go into a repeater. This repeater actually needs to be on your building block because this part is visible from the inside. When people walk through it, they'll be able to see that block. So if we put the repeater on wool, then they'll be able to see a wool block. Oh my goodness, it's not seamless anymore. No, we need our building block. So, repeater, two ticks, and I'm just gonna 
go ahead and build the rest of the frame because I can't help myself. There we go. Then, mirror, repeater on two ticks, put a block above those repeaters, right next to our immovable block, two pink walls in the middle, and redstone on the building block frame. Now, that's basically the whole door done. And I didn't look over there to copy. Memorize the circuit, so yay for me. Now, all we have to do is build in the frame. I like to give it out one more block because extra coverage for the redstone. Oh, no, 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 no. Can't be falling on the job. All right, there we go. Now the door is done. The door is done. And just like in my 3x3, it doesn't matter where you have your button as long as it goes into this input block. That's what I call it, input. You put your power into it. So, power in. And the door works great. Again, 2.2 seconds opening. 1.4 seconds closing. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, enjoyed this video. Um, hope you guys can utilize this 4x4 piston door to make your secret base to impress your friends to do whatever you want to do with this door. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you will have lots of fun with your new 4x4 piston door. <laughs> that rhymed. Sorry, I had to point that out again. Um, anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. So like, subscribe, and comment, and all that stuff. And yeah, other than that, I will see you later.